Oh, I love scrappy peeps. It's Adele from Inky Quill. And this is post-editing Adele. This is Adele filming quite a few weeks later because I didn't film an intro for this weekly Inky, so I thought I'd just do one now. Now, the next, the next three weekly Inkies don't follow every single day of the week because I got really sick. So I got really, really crook. I was sleeping like 18 to 20 hours a day. Didn't do a lot of crafting, but I, there are little snippets of other things. I did a lot of organization crafty or kind of setting myself up for certain projects that I want to do. So stay tuned for this weekly inky. So I thought I'd show you the happy mail that I got today. It's very exciting. Um, I do have a PO box that I always list in the description of my videos. And I made this happy mail binder. I actually made two of them. And the video is on, I think it's on my second channel, Let's Get Inky. And I just keep all of the beautiful letters and postcards and bits and pieces and all the things that you send me. I keep every single one. So I've got two big binders and I think I have a basket full of letters that I've got to put in here. I think I'm going to need a third binder, which is exciting. If you'd like me to do a... Um, process video on making the third binder let me know in the comments below so that's my binder so all of this stuff will eventually get into here I usually wait until I've got about 15 pieces and then do it in a big bunch but at the moment I think I have about 30 that are waiting <laughs> but I got a beautiful postcard from Terry here and Terry's in Washington and Terry your little cottage your little tiny cabin in the woods sounds so beautiful and so fun to scrap in so thank you terry i won't i've covered up people's addresses and things so that they don't get showed all over the internet but i thought i'd just give you a peek because i love to see people's happy mail and i love seeing i have a real thing about postcards from around the world i just i love snail mail and it's just so fun to see what other places look like and what they're known for so what they would choose to put on a postcard because here where i am it's very um they're very beachy so they're all beachy all beachy all kangaroos and things like that the next one's from Kayla my friend Kayla from um, I used to be on the scrappery DT with Kayla has a YouTube channel as well and she made me this gorgeous card you talented little thing you it's beautiful I love the gold stitching details so she wrote this little beautiful little Christmas card that I'll pop in my happy mail binder Thanks, Kayla. Then this one is from Barbara. And Barbara, you comment on all of my videos. You are a huge Inky Quill supporter, so thank you for that. And she made me this cute little baby card and gave me some baby confetti. And look at these stamps. Oh, I have a real soft spot for onesies in real life, so they'll, they'll come in handy, those. Thank you. It's so exciting just getting like little little bits of bobs. Next up, this I found really interesting. This is from Anna. Yeah, Anna. And it got missent to Thailand. So Anna, your package has been on a bit of a round trip. It's been <laughs> it's gone everywhere. And I have to say, this is the coolest letter I've ever received. She made me a freaking Hogwarts letter. And look, it even has the Hogwarts seal. This is a dream come true. Anna, you've you've just made all my dreams come true. Look at this. It's it's amazing. So that's definitely getting its own little special spread in my Happy Mail binder. And she also gave me some bunny stickers and a sweet little Christmas card. So I got very, very spoiled. That's just that's just that's just too cool. I just love it. And some bunnies. And then Wendy spoilt me. Thank you, Wendy. Wendy sent me two things. So Wendy, and I love when people decorate their envelopes too. Wendy sent me a gorgeous little Christmas card and some blingy bling bling. So that'll be very handy. And bigger cards like this, I often punch them and just put them straight into the rings as is because then I get to touch them and, and feel all of the cool glitter letters and things. So she sent me that. And then she made some Christmas decorations. Look at that, an A and a T. 
that's so cool and it's actually lucky because we still have some Christmas things hanging around <laughs> we're really we're terrible when it comes to taking down Christmas things we've taken down the tree but there's still lots of bits and pieces hanging around and my last one today is from Beck so my camera very rudely cut me off but these are from Beck and look at the bunnies so it's like Inky Beard, Inky Quill, and Little Inky Bub. Oh, they're so cute. I can't wait to use them. I think I might stamp some and colour them in, I think. And she also sent me some of the Tim Holtz tissue paper, which I love and I get lots of use out of. So that's all of my Happy Mail haul. Lots and lots of goodies. So please let me know in the comments if you'd like to see me do a, um, a process in putting all of these things into my happy binder as well and you'll be able to see the happy binder video I'll put the link in the description below but it's over on my second channel let's get inky about to film a video with yes. this guy collaboration so we're doing a little haul video there's all of our goodies and Aaron's helping with the voicing because yes. some of the things are for him yeah <laughs> Look at this girl enjoying the fan. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> so I just thought I'd show you a little trick today. This is Baby Toomey's album so far, which doesn't really have anything in it, but a whole lot of things just shoved at the front. So there's half of the baby shower. These are the baby shower cards from my class baby shower that they did. I've got some instruction-y type things I want to cut some pieces out of. And then I did over here. Ooh, things are stuck. Over here, I just took a whole lot of the um, tags that I cut off when I washed all of his little clothes. And I've just put them in one of the two, are they two? Yeah, two by two, I think they are. Um, pocket protectors. And I'm just going to put bits of paper behind them because I thought that would be cute to look back on. But I bought these Becky Higgins plastic pockets when I was at um, Pages to Scrap the other day. And the problem is, they've got three holes and the new Studio Calico 9x12 albums I use have four holes. So, a really quick, easy solution to this is I just line up the top and the bottom hole and then I put a little permanent marker dot where the other two holes are. You can't do this with a normal hole punch because the plastic's too thick, but I just use my cropper dial. And what I tend to do is I tend to punch instead of just one hole because these are quite thick, I kind of do two holes next to each other. So you can see the hole that they give you is quite a large one. It's not just a normal circle. So I try to make it so that it looks something like that. So I'm just going to quickly punch it and then I'll show you how it slips in my album. And there you go. So now, are they the most perfectly punched holes in the world? No. But if someone's looking at your holes being punched perfectly, instead of actually what's in your album, then they don't deserve to get to see your album, in my opinion. <laughs> and the 6x6 pocket actually does fit on these middle two bits. So I'm going to transfer the cards out of this into one of the pockets just to contain them a little bit better and so they're not all slippy slidey. But I am going to hit me up in the comments if you've got any ideas for what you do with cards because they do take up a lot of space. So I'm not quite sure if I want to, I've seen a couple of ideas where people cut out the front little a picture from the card and put it in a page protector like this one with lots of spots. Um, or you can bind them all together with binder rings. Let me know if you've got any card collection ideas. I also use my hole punch and cropper dial the same way just to change the page protectors for my 9x12 normal albums because the so the original 9x12 um, handbooks from Studio Calico had three rings and then they updated them because why not of course so that they can make new page protectors to make you pay more money of course 
um, to a four ring system and it's perfectly fine but a lot of stores still stock the three ring page protectors and all you need to do is I just sit down put on some YouTube and then I just sit down and I go on a bit of a punching spree and fix them all up so that they fit in and I just keep them in my album and it's just it's easy easy peasy quick tip if you're finding it hard because the page protectors are a bit thin I often just put a piece of paper behind when I punch my hole and it's a lot easier to punch through the plastic because sometimes the plastic goes all and gets stuck in the hole punch too Bobby kids are you helping mama do a voiceover helping's an interesting <laughs> term isn't it poppies she just wants pats she wants pats and numbins yeah Boys over time! Yay! Finally! <laughs> <laughs> and snuggles. Are you gonna flop down? Oh. Aww. Such a kitty so, cat. After I've done that and I've sprayed it, I've also done my drippy droppy technique to get a bit of water happening in the background there. And I'm just going to glue on these little squares. And I have no, no flare. I'm just sticking and plonking, you know, that's my motto, stick and plonk. The only thing I did try to do was not have two of the same pattern next to each other. Um, you can see that the diamonds aren't lining up, they're not all perfect, but it doesn't matter. In the end, I really like the look. So I really think that sometimes we're too hard, you know, centred and geometrically pretty much. So I'm just sticking more and more of these on and go to the patterns that were on top so you can see that that black is very quite bold and I didn't want too many of the, the black and white spots. So today I'm not feeling fabulous so I've decided to go to bed and do some project life so I've put together a little bundle of goodies I've got my favorite new stickers my box of embellishments I keep on my desk, enamel dots, tiny words, my project life cards, a couple of little boxes of wood veneer, Heidi Shine glue, pen, scissors, tape, stapler and some 4x6 cards. So we'll see if I can get some project lifing in bed done today I think. And these two are summing up how I feel today. <laughs> Poppet is completely flopped. And Frida's just, Frida's just done as well. Oh, I'm giving her kisses.